Now, a WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. The weather theme for our Sunday, a little milder, a little more warmth, and a little less wind. There'll still be a breeze out there across the valley, but the winds will certainly not be as strong as yesterday. Be prepared for some showers to move in late tomorrow evening, and there could be some snowflakes trying to mix in with rain at times late Monday night. That storm system will move out of the region, and in its wake, our weather will trend cooler and will also be blustery with temperatures back down closer to average. Outside right now, nothing but blue skies there on our York Sky Cam. Some areas are seeing some passing clouds, and temperatures are seasonally cool. Right now we're at 42 degrees with winds still calm at this hour. But as we head through the afternoon, winds may gust up to near 25 miles per hour. And for much of the day, look for just some passing clouds. We'll lose a lot of the cloud cover overnight tonight. Temperatures will fall to near 30 degrees. There could be some frost on the ground. May have to break out the ice scraper like we did early this morning in a few spots. And then for tomorrow, clouds will thicken up through the day. It's going to be seasonable with temperatures back into the low to mid 50s and showers will move into the region late tomorrow evening into tomorrow night is when we could see a winter mix in some locations of the valley. Best chance for that will be north of the turnpike. Yesterday was a saw a high of 47 degrees. The morning low was 32 and just one one hundredth of an inch of rain. But man, those winds were whipping during the past two days. Here's a look at some peak wind gust reports. Reedsville, Mifflin County up to 47 miles per hour. Mannheim and Lancaster County saw a gust of 45 miles per hour. Marion and Franklin County at 42 miles per hour. But the winds are relatively light. They're primarily out of the west or southwest and temperatures cooled off early this morning, but they've rebounded now that we've seen some sunshine up to 48 now in Gettysburg, currently 43 at this hour in Chambersburg. So seasonal out there, a little bit cooler off to our west, warmer down to the south, but look at what's happening across the country. Not very much, just a weak cold front will push through as we head through this afternoon. Here's our next storm that's going to bring primarily rain to the region late Monday evening. But again, some areas of the valley could see a brief wintry mix. So some spotty flurries in our far northeastern counties as a disturbance moves on by. But here comes that front just falls apart. So I do expect a mostly sunny, breezy day today. It'll be mild with temperatures in the lower 50s. We start our Monday off dry. Then here comes that clipper diving down from the Great Lakes. Notice some spotty showers will be possible by the evening commute tomorrow, but better chances for steadier rain will return later in the evening and areas north of the turnpike could see that wintry mix, but with temperatures rising into the 50s for our highs tomorrow and temperatures only dropping into the upper 30s, even if you do see some snow, it's likely just going to wet the ground and not accumulate. That storm moves out to sea. Cooler, drier air builds in on the back side of the storm heading into Tuesday. It's going to be a blustery day and temperatures knock back down closer to average with highs in the upper 40s. We are tracking a larger scale storm as we head on into the weekend. It looks like we're going to have a storm move by to our west. Now here's the question. As the storm heads up into the Great Lakes region, will it split off some energy and move along the coast? And could some of that generate some colder air? So it is possible we could see some snow, but right now it looks like the models are trending more west than white, but we will continue to keep you posted. So just be prepared for some of that rain and possibly a wintry mix in areas north of the turnpike late tomorrow night into early Tuesday morning. We dry out for most of next work week and then we're tracking that large scale storm system that at this time looks like it's going to bring rain, but snow not out of the question just yet for next weekend. It will be cooler with highs in the low to mid 40s. All right. Thank